Babajide Kolade reacts to the seat at home directive by Unamdi Kano. Unamdi Kano issued a warning that people in various states in the southeast should sit at home. And from the reports and pictures we have seen so far, people actually heeded to the warning. Babajide Kolade Otiju, while reacting to his to, to this, say that the governors in the southeast should be worried that people in their state are following Unamdi Kanu orders. The experienced journalist, while speaking further, say that the legitimacy of all the governors in the southeast is being threatened and it seems they are no longer popular in their states. Speaking further, Babajide post Babajide uh, uh, posits that what Unamdi Kano is doing is, is an organized resistance against the state and if this is not taking if this is not taking care of very fast the problem in the southeast could degenerate into another thing conclusively he noted that no nation has ever survived two civil wars therefore we should be careful as a country you know there are some words that will come very late that will, they will not come at the time that things is happening you see even in individual terms or in individual houses if something is happening to your family for example and you did not tackle it the first place if you take a longer time it will begin to metamorphosize into something else so that is what exactly that is happening in our country some persons when things are happening instead of them to bring in their words or their advice or their suggestion they will not bring it to time it is when the situation has escalated into something else that you begin to hear them speaking and at that time the, their words we have no value anymore because destructions has been made so as we are talking right now what do we need the nigerians to do or the government or the governor the southeast governor to do what do we need them to do now they have done what they could by meeting in asaba two weeks ago and banned the open grazing and so and they have set up some organization to be taking care of any uh, intruders they have done that so to begin to blame them i think it's something else it's not only with their power they will be able to i mean to put off the fire that is already burning now the eagles want to get their independence by all means and they are fighting seriously so the only way that these people could be cattered with is to dialogue with them set a, a set meetings that you meet at the table and be able to i mean uh, to air their view and then the whole situation will be arrested this is what is ought to be done but it seems that this government is i mean this government has already planned what is going to do against anyone who is agitating for independence and so the Igbo too they have already prepared what they are going to do so right now we do not know where nigerians is heading to the yoruba people are agitating for independence and they are fighting there seriously and the evil also are agitating seriously and they, 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 they are fighting on their own part seriously and we can see that the majority of the evils they heed to the words of their leader and they actually sit at home that day observing the fallen heroes the, the heroes that has fallen during the course of the war in 1967 to 1970 you can see that so what is happening does not started today it started long times ago and if uh, if attention is given to these problems it will not has exceeded 
to, to where it is today. It is because attention was not given. That is why we are where we are today. So it is high time that people from all walks of life should begin to bring their suggestion. They should begin to bring their advice to the government. Because government alone, I think, could not, could not cater this situation. Because as such, we have no government is not ready to take anything lightly with anyone uh, causing secession. And we have secession all over because people say they are tired of this country. Now, in, in the country where, uh, where uh, I mean, things produced are so cost that ordinary man will not buy it. What do you expect? Now, we, we have common people, talking about the average people, they could not go to school because there's no money to finance their education. They, 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 they could not have any business to do. People has no work. Youth has no work. This has been the, 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 I mean, the situation of Nigeria. So, if Unandi Kano has ordered his people to sit at home and observe that they, it then mean they mean what they are doing. On the other hand, war, fighting, killing is not the answer. We have been pleaded with the federal government that why did these people want their own independence? I think something is wrong somewhere. You rather call these people and dig it, dig it to the end, and know why they are speaking such a thing. Now, if we may begin to talk about a little history, it is because it is because the Fulanese, who are the strangers from other parts of Africa said Nigeria is their country and, and they, they have planned to take over everywhere. They have said that it was Yusman Dafodio, they are, they are forefathers that has handed over Nigeria to them. So uh, don't you think there's, there's a problem? And of course, they want to enslave every other tribes. Can you imagine people that own their original land? You just come from nowhere and you want to take it over, you want to enslave them. That could not be possible. And, and that is the, the whole of this fighting. So, and uh, we think dialogue will bring peace to this country, not war. So if the federal government continue to release security agency, agencies against the Igbos, against the Yorubas, against those who are hesitating, I think it's making a mistake. The situation will continue and you will begin to kill your own people and that is not a, a good governance.